Hey Cravers, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be making a French Bernalfi pie and this is my first time making it. I was actually introduced to this recipe by my mental health counselor and it is very important that all men and women go to counseling and have a mental health doctor to help with, you know, anything you've been going through in life any past traumas, you know, you guys know that I was in the military, so I do have some traumas of the military that I've experienced, seeing people commit suicide, something I have to face and something I have to get through. So it's very important that you go through that. Anyway, she was telling me about the recipe and that she had visited Scotland uh, and tried this uh, dessert at a restaurant. So um, I was like, oh, that sounds really good because I really love bananas. Um, as a fruit and anything banana, banana pudding, I would love it. I, I would devour it. So today we're going to be making a banoffee, French banoffee pie. And to get started, we have some Biscoff cookies. I used the whole sleeve. It's about eight ounces of Biscoff cookies. I chopped them up and they're all grounded up now. And I'm going to go ahead and raise my mixer here. And we're going to pour in about uh, six tablespoons of melted butter. And then I'm going to also do like a dash of vanilla flavoring. And we're just going to go ahead and get that, give that a stir. We get everything combined and mixed up uh, so that our Biscoff crumbs can get a little wet so we can mesh them around in our uh, pan. All right, so our crackers are good and covered by the butter and vanilla. I'm just gonna take this off and it should have a wet consistency like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour them over into my pie pan here. Now this is like a cheesecake. Um, Spring form pan. Uh, this is what I'm using for this recipe. If you have something else, that could work as well. I just want a, um, I just want a outside look to my pie, so I can easily take this off and give you a side view of the the pie and stuff like that. I'm just going to pat this down to my pan. Make sure it's even as possible. And it should be, be very easy to pat down if you have incorporated enough butter. All right guys, so I patted down all of my Biscoff crumbs into the pan. I got it to go up the side of the pan just a little bit for a little of a side crust here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And it should be good for our filling. All right, so we're gonna use a caramel filling. Um, so the whole meaning behind banoffee is banana and toffee. What should I do? Banana, toffee. <laughs> uh, so the whole idea is banana and toffee and that's why they called it banoffee, to combine them. Um, as far as the toffee part, for this recipe it calls for a toffee, um, filling, I'm going to use a caramel filling and that's just for my preference because I do not enjoy toffee flavoring as much. So we're going to use a caramel flavor filling. So I have my caramel filling here. I just made a easy caramel filling. Uh, you can find it on anywhere, Pinterest, Google, do your research. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in here. This is about uh, two cups of caramel filling. And once it goes into the refrigerator, it will harden uh, into a toffee-like substance. So no need to worry about it being so loose like that. All right, so we have our caramel filling already in the pan with our Biscoff crust. And I'm just gonna go ahead and chop up two full bananas. And these bananas are going to be used to 
uh, layer across our caramel. I personally do not like all the little strings on bananas, so I'm going to pick them off because they annoy me. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, um, it's very important for mental health. I know it's a hard subject for people to speak on and speak about, but at some point in your life, you got to face what's real. And that's just real talk. And I feel like everybody in their life has went through something that they can get off their chest to um, a professional and not just to the best friend or the neighbor. <laughs> you got to face the facts. And you just want to put them in there like so. Now, if you personally do not like a lot of bananas, you don't have to put as much in here. Um, but this is a banafi pie, so I would want to put as much bananas as possible. All right, that is both bananas inside of our pan. Now I'm going to go over the pan with our whipped topping. And this is about four cups of whipped topping. You want to make sure you have enough to cover the whole pie and you just spread it around. Do not mix it all together. You just spread as best as you can. The crust will be um, crumbling a little, but it's fine. Now for my liking, I'm going to use a half a cup of chopped pecans or pecans, <laughs> whatever you prefer to say. I'm from Georgia, so we say pecans. Or do we say pecan? No, we say pecans. <laughs> I'm just going to sprinkle them on top. I'm just going to drizzle my chocolate syrup across like that. All right, guys. So you want to put this in the freezer for about four hours and you want it to get nice and cooled and chilled. And then when it's time to come out, we'll be right back and I'll show you everything. Make sure that you guys are putting something on the bottom to make sure nothing is spilling out. The caramel's spilling out a little here, but um, yeah, straight to the freezer, four hours. We'll be right back. All right, we're back, Cravers. So our French banoffee pie is chilled. I had it in the freezer for about four hours exactly. And we're getting ready to unveil what it looks like. So I'm just going to unloosen my spring form pan. And as you can see, the crust is intact. The caramel is not intact. And I'm just going to cut right into it. I am so excited. It looks great. Hopefully it tastes great because again, this is my first time trying it. And I'm just going to dig in my first impression. It reminds me of a, like an ice cream sundae in a pie. And I mean, it has that icebox effect, so it's like an icebox pie. Um, if you enjoy key lime pies, um, lemon meringue pies, 
this is your type of pie. Um, and especially if you enjoy caramel because it's oozing everywhere. It's hard to contain. But the nuts bring it together. The pecans bring it together. Um, the bananas aren't as frozen. So I did uh, make a mistake earlier in the video when I told you to just throw the whole pie in the freezer for four hours. You're supposed to do your crust and then do your caramel or toffee layer and then put it in the freezer for four hours and then come back and lay your layer your bananas and your whipped topping and the rest of your toppings on after the fact but I did it all together it still turned out great you can do it however you will want to do it how did you enjoy the banoffee pie cameraman it was pretty good what did it what did it taste like to you um like you said it reminded me of the Sunday flavor okay well would you try it again yeah yeah it was a really good dessert and again i like bananas so it's a winner for me so what's next week <laughs> you just have to tune in and see mm. Mm. all right that was my french banoffee pie recipe i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to call it a french banana banana meal <laughs> because i use caramel just to play on words but again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week keep on craving y'all <laughs> hey Cravers, it's me Raphael. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it as well as click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a new video. Keep on craving, y'all.